All right guys, here we have it. We're gonna be doing carne asada on the Blackstone griddle. We're also gonna be adding some marinated chicken from the Mexican meat market. We bought both of them at the Mexican meat market. You guys need to check that out. Look for your local meat market, Mexican meat market for this type of meat. That being said, let's fire up this Blackstone. So today we're gonna be putting cooking medium. Medium is perfect. Not too high, not too low, just perfect. So here's our carne that we have. It's about, we got about three pounds here and it's already marinated. So they do that for you. And this is our chicken fajitas that we're gonna be cooking also. It's already marinated from the meat market and their marinade is really good. Tortillas that we're using, yellow corn. We love the yellow ones different taste from the white ones. All right, let's go ahead and add some oil. When you're cooking beef and chicken, you will cook the chicken first because it takes the longest to cook. Beef is a lot more quicker. Here is our chicken. This is about two pounds of chicken. I'm gonna go wash my hands because we do not want to cross contaminate this, so we'll be back. All right, let's add our carne asada. This is why you guys are all here for. Let's get this. So what we got going on here is we have our carne asada here. We added a little bit of marinated chicken from our local Mexican meat market. We love the American. If you guys have not been to a Mexican meat part market, look around your town, your city. There's always one. And go in there and check it. Buy their meat. You can even ask them to marinate it for you. They'll do that for you at no cost. So our carne sauce is already marinated. Look at that. Cutting the chicken in pieces helps with the cook. So what is your guys' go-to sides when you guys eating this stuff? Rice, rice and beans, what is it? Seems like the kind of sauce is almost done. Now that the chicken looks like it's done, our meat looks like it's done too. And set it over here. And we have to cook our tortillas now. So when you want to cook tortillas, you want to add some oil. Okay. Just like that, a little bit of oil gives a nice crisp.
Everything is ready to roll. Let's put our meat here. Now, our chicken. Okay, our tortillas are also ready. There she is. All right guys, we're done. Here we have it. Our rice, our chicken, our carne asada, our tortilla. We had some green nut salsa that was made just for this occasion, because it looks good. Without further ado. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Man. The kind of real the beef is real tender. Real tender. Mmm. Mm -mm. I don't know what they use for marinating, but damn, this chicken is good. The marinating, they use for this, the seasoning, anything they use for the carne, I suggest you give it a try. Go to your Mexican meat market that you have around you. There's always one. Go in there, look for the meat you want, ask them if they can marinate it, or they might have it another way, another section that's marinated. If not, they will marinate it for you, no charge. They're, they really do a good job. So if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like. Make sure you guys hit that boom, hit the subscribe button. There's more great content coming, and you guys do not want to miss any of it. And make sure you guys check out these videos, Blackstone or Traeger videos. You guys are thinking about buying a Traeger, a smoker, electro smoker? Check them out, or just stay with Blackstone. See you guys next time.